Okay, this is number 20 from the 2013 um, Mock Math Counts, uh, number one. And it says, how many three-digit positive integers can be written in the form or a, uh, form a to the bth power if a and b are both positive integers greater than one? And so you've got to decide a way to calculate this. And there are a couple different ways to do it. Uh, the way I choose to calculate it is to base, base it upon um, exponents, uh, meaning um, something to the second power, something to the third power, something to the fourth power, so on and so forth. And so I'm going to start with squares. And so the question is, how many things to the second power are a three-digit positive integer? Well, the first one is clearly 10, um, because 10 squared equals uh, 100. And the last one may not be as clear to you, but it turns out to be 31, because 31 squared is 900 um, and 61, whereas 32 squared is 1,024. And then if you know how to count numbers, 31 minus 10 is 21, plus 1 is 22. So there are 22 powers of 2 that are three-digit um, integers. And then we look at p things to the third power, but we've got to be careful that we don't overcount. So we're going to have to be thinking about overcounting uh, from this point forward. The smallest one is 5 because 5 squared, or 5 cubed is 125, 4 cubed is 64. And the largest one is um, 9 cubed um, because 9 cubed is um, equal to 729. Now we've got to go back and see if any of these don't count. Well, 5 is fine, 6 is fine, um, 7 is fine. 8 is one we need to be careful with because 8 is 2 to the 3rd, but 2 to the 3rd to the 3rd is 2 to the 9th, which is not a square, so that, that's fine. But two, um, 9 squared actually doesn't work because 9 squared is 3 squared, and 3 squared to the 3rd is 3 to the 6th, so nine, um, 9 cubed is actually 27 squared. So we don't count the 9, so there's 5 numbers there minus the 1 for the 9 that gets has already been counted because it's 27 squared, you got four um, cubes. So now if we look to the fourth power, now this is where you probably don't know them as well, so you have to do a little bit of calculation, but luckily it's not very much, because three to the fourth is easy. Three to the fourth is just nine times nine, which is 81, so that doesn't work. But clearly four to the fourth is gonna work, and five to the fourth is gonna work, but six to the fourth doesn't work, because six to the fourth um, is um, 1,296. Uh, now you could have actually skipped this one altogether because anything to the fourth power is going to be something squared. So 5 to the fourth is like 25 squared, 4 to the fourth is like 16 squared. So we actually didn't even need to count any of those. To the fifth, that's when we need to start counting again. Well now we look at 2 to the fifth, well that's 32, but 3 to the fifth works. Um, 4 to the fifth is 4 times 4 which is 16, squared is 256 times 4 is 1024, so the only one to the fifth that works is 3, um, and 3 to the fifth is neither a square nor a cube, so that one's good, so there's one of those. To the sixth, for the same reason as the fourth, we don't care about that one because it's always going to be a perfect square, so we look at the seventh, and to the seventh, well, um, 2 to the 7th, well 2 to the 6th is 64, so 2 to the 7th is 128. 3 to the 7th turns out to be too big, and so 2 to the 7th though does work, it's neither a square, a cube, uh, or what. Um, now it should be pointed out that 2 to the 7th is 128, and so 2 to the 8th is 256, which doesn't work, for the same reason we said. 2 to the 9th is just going to be a perfect cube, so that doesn't work. 2 to the 10th is going to be a perfect square. Now we've gotten too big, and so the number of ways is going to be 1 plus 1 plus 4 plus 22, which is 28 ways.